Living Light Cancer, welcome to the channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. All right. Endings and new beginnings? I don't know. Seven of, um, hmm. I wanted to say Seven of Wands, but this is the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody's waiting on a new beginning or they're waiting to close out a chapter in their life here. Hmm. It could be a, oh yeah, you're waiting for love. You're waiting for love, two of cups. You're waiting for a new chapter in love. Like this, just period. Like we, you're, you're waiting for that. I feel like you guys have put the time, effort, and energy into your, in your own selves, your own life. You put the energy poured back into yourself is what this is looking like. You're waiting to like, you know, give to someone else. You're waiting on an equal give and take. All right. I feel like I'm talking to somebody here who you could be a Taurus. You could be a Leo. You could be a Scorpio. Okay. You could be an Aquarius. You don't have to be. You can have any of those um, signs in your chart, right? This is fixed sign energy, but I just feel like you're fixated and you know what you want. You guys, I'm talking to someone here who has ended some old cycle that was real difficult. You put in a lot of work and effort and time into yourself and you're ready for someone here who's like male or female, doesn't matter, who wants the same thing that you do. Um, that's kind of willing to put in the work. Somebody that wants to spend time with you. Somebody here who's willing to nurture a connection. You know, you're, you're looking for someone who's really gonna put in the work and the effort. Show me what else for the collector, please. And thank you. Mm -hmm. King of Pentacles. You could be an earth sign. You don't have to be. There's an earth sign in your energy here. Now, if they are not an earth sign, you guys, this is somebody here who, you know, it could be the same person who is looking for the same thing. We'll see what energy comes out, though. Ooh, this King of Pentacles could be coming towards you. Cancer energy. You could be a Cancer. Well, let's see what the rest of the energy is. Mm. So it looks like after waiting, something's coming towards you. Someone is coming towards you after a long awaited period. Judgment. Ooh, is this somebody new? Scorpio. Is this somebody old? Scorpio energy here. Eight of Cups. Uh, one more. Hold on, y'all. I don't know what's going on. That Five of Cups. Ooh. I feel like this is somebody from the past. Page of Pentacles. You got somebody watching you. You might have several people watching you. You could have an air sign watching you. You could have a earth sign watching you here. There's somebody just watching you. That's in deep regret and remorse. Um, they're sad since you either A, walked away. There's almost like an energy here of somebody wanting to overcome some form of obstacle in charge towards you and have the willpower, courage to reconcile, reignite something or like, you know, because judgment can sometimes be, um, you know, a phone call, communication, but it's also self-reflection. All right. So somebody here is reflecting, realizing something. Somebody could be realizing they need to walk away or they're realizing they didn't walk away from something. I don't know. Let's clarify. But to me, the energy is for you, collective. You're you just you want something new. You're looking for an equal give and take here. Hmm. And I feel like you guys are walking away. That's been the energy over the past few days, though. Like the collective has been doing the work. Y'all have been doing feeling good. Oh yeah, somebody trying to give you something. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Ah, oh, somebody trying to give you something. They trying to give you that good, good. Newer, uh, newer, old, I don't know. Definitely looking like old person. Somebody you know. They want to come in and, I mean, you know, could be a passionate new beginning, but. Mm -hmm. What's Five of Wands? 
So, give me one more. Listen, somebody want to talk. They mad at you. They are upset with you. Somebody got something to say to you, I feel like, with this Eight of Wands and this Five of Wands energy. Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's somebody in your energy who can't stop thinking about you. And they want to talk and they're really quite frankly mad that you walked away from them. But I feel like you walked away from this situation because there was no equal give and take. Y'all weren't on the same page. It just This just wasn't working for you. So you ended it. You're like, you know what? I'm ending any and everything that involves a third party situation. Any and, every, and everything that doesn't involve equal give and take. Um, I want somebody to spend quality time with who's going to communicate with me, who's a, an adult, who is mature, um, that I have passion with, not just passion like sex passion. I mean like chemistry, passion, equal, like harmony, balance. And I feel like you walked away from the five of wands energy. You walked away from conflict. This king of pentacles um, is in regret and, for, and remorse for how they treated you. They want to talk or they want to take some form of action. And I really feel like they're upset with you. Can you show me more here about this king of pentacles, please? Uh -huh, four of wands. They want to reunite. Yeah, they want to reunite with you. Show me more of this King of Pentacles, please. Hold on. Show me more of the King of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. They want to reunite with you. Wow. The Devil, Capricorn energy here. Somebody wants to reunite with you. I feel like this person was toxic in the past because this, yeah, they mad at you. I'm telling you, this person's mad at you. Look at this devil energy with the Knight of Swords. This person's upset with you for walking away. I feel like they are. They are. They are. I mean, I don't know what to say, but you're standing your ground here. Seven of Wands, you're protecting yourself. You may even have this person blocked. Um... But they're watching you. They haven't said anything. The Leo energy here on the bottom of the deck. This person's just, ooh. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's see what's going on with this. Cause show me more here about this King of Pentacles and what this person wants with my collective. What does this person want with my collective? It's complicated. It's then no, it's not. It, damn it! And I feel like y'all are so sick of this shit. That's why you walked away in the first place. Look at this. This person doesn't know what they want to do. They don't know what they want one minute to the next. All they know is they are it's extremely infatuated with you, and low key they are obsessed with you and upset at the same time because you walked away. But they shouldn't only be upset with anybody. Other than themselves, they should really be mad at them, themselves. I don't understand this. You, it's too much. That's why this five of wands is here because it's like there was too many external factors affecting this person's decision making or the lack thereof or whatever it is that they didn't do because it wasn't an equal give and take. They were not giving you something that you really needed, which is why you close this cycle out and why you're waiting on something. But honey. This person is obsessed. <laughs> I feel like this person is caught in an illusion. And I feel like for some time, some of y'all were really caught in an illusion. But this is a game to this person, I feel like. Mm, show me more about this King of Pentacles, please. What do they want with my collective? They want to conquer you. This person wants to conquer you. They see you as something to be conquered. I don't uh, really appreciate this energy here. I don't like this for you guys. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, 
it's, it's, there's nothing, I don't see anything long term or uh, mature about this. There's an on again, off again, back and forth, a cycle that I feel like you work very hard to pull yourself out of, okay? Somebody here, this person has has a habit of appearing, disappearing, or you're just trying not to get sucked back into the trap or get sucked. Be careful about getting sucked back into this cycle with this person is all I'm going to say. Because it looks like there's a, this person wants you to get stuck in this cycle again. Yeah, and um, Laboon Vent Suite by Jill Scott is playing right now. Yeah. Settling in love. Listen, y'all are not settling. Some of y'all have not given up. And you're still waiting on true love. You're still waiting on that two of cups. And Spirit is strongly telling you, do not get stuck in, in settling for somebody here who is just hot and cold, in and out, wants, to, wants you to continue to repeat a cycle with this person. You know, um, this person wants you to stay stuck to them, even though you're not married to them or you were never married to this person. This person would just wants, wants to be around you. I, I, yeah, hold on. Show me more here about this situation. I'm planning on how to win you back. This person is planning on how to come win you back and conquer you. I'm telling you, I re look, I told you, I respect you for setting strong boundaries. Mm-hmm. This person really low-key thinks this shit is a game. They feel like you are to be conquered. No, negative, you're not. Some of y'all, this could be same sex. Um, I'm not attracted to them anymore. So now somebody's got a third party. Okay. So some of y'all, this person has a third party. That's why they are in and out so much, so frequently. Some of you guys are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius here. Well, whoever it is they're with, they <laughs> oh, they think you've moved on. They And maybe some of y'all have, but they're jealous. They're jealous. They're jelly, jelly, jelly. But see, here's the deal. Somebody here was sneaky. They were a liar. They were manipulative. They're just fake. They're wearing a false self mask. And um, like I said earlier, you knew that. I feel like you definitely knew that. That's why you set strong boundaries with this dang on person. Okay? No one compares to you. I am so... Yeah, I told you they're obsessive. I told you they're obsessively stalking you. Look at this. I can't believe they're obsessively stalking you. This person says, I can't believe that they I messed everything up. Yeah, nobody wants to see us together. That's that five of wands energy. That's that it's complicated. You know, like, no, nah, I don't think the collective is looking for something complicated. You know what I mean? Uh, for some of y'all, this this person tried to tell you that they're not they're not in love with a third party. That this other person that they've been seeing, or the other person that they're with, it doesn't mean anything to them. And I beg to differ because if they didn't mean anything, then they would just um they would just um be with you, right? They would just be with you. Look at this. I feel like this is you, but you you feel like you're better off alone until your two of cups comes in, right? But this person wants you to know they're coming back. They want you to know that they are coming back. So I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Hold on, let's see here. Um... Hold on, y'all. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to make this a quick reading, but okay. What's this person want to say to the collective? What's this person want to say to the collective? I don't know how, but you have my heart. Yeah, they're definitely obsessed. Hit the like button, you guys, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I'm so sorry for not contacting you. I feel like 
a lot of y'all have stood your ground or set boundaries with this person anyway. I don't think you're even waiting to hear from this person or you even want to talk to them. I don't feel like you want to talk to them. I don't. So I don't know why they feel like I could lose myself in you. You know, this person, karma. So somebody here is getting karma, okay? And this person knew they were going to get karma all along anyway because of how they were in and out with you. Um, yeah, this person, this is crazy. Show me what else here. I never meant to hurt you. Okay, this person wants you to know they never meant to hurt you and they miss you and they cannot hold back any longer. So they're not going to be able to come back any longer because they're still obsessively watching you. They're obsessively stalking you. They're getting karma. Um, they are getting ready to come back. Okay, I don't know what else to tell you, but just be prepared, I guess. I don't know. Uh, whatever. I don't know. They say they want to make it up to you. They want to make it up to you. And they're hoping they can see you and hear your voice. Um, I just don't. Oh, yeah. Look at what's playing. Call me by Phoenix Alley. Call me. <laughs> ah, you like, no, I ain't calling you. I'm in the no. I'd rather be alone. This is you. you like, uh, no, thank you. I'm good. I set strong boundaries from the person who was a liar, they were a cheater, you know, a deceiver, you know, a user, um, whatever. Somebody who put you in a third party situation because it's obvious they've been seeing other people where they're strongly connected to somebody else. For some of y'all, everybody's situation is going to be different, but... Dang, it's just when I'll be like, oh, we're going to get some new energy out here. I just, sometimes I, I don't choose the energy, you guys. I don't. Some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, a Leo, a Scorpio. Um, Taurus, Aquarius, if I didn't say that already. What else? We, Scorpio, I said that. But Aries Leo Sag too, but I mean, you know, could be anybody. All right. If y'all need a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Otherwise, I love y'all. Until next time. All right. Bye.